Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're doing my January empties, a little bit late this month, but yeah there's a lot to get through here. So this is the tray of everything that has become empty this month. There's a lot of stuff. So I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet. If you've not seen this before, this is a video where I basically go through everything that has become empty this month and let you know if I like it, if I didn't like it, and if I buy it again. Um, I haven't opened and used everything within one month because that would be crazy, especially that huge bottle there. Um, it's just what's become empty. And yeah, we'll just have a chat about them, give you my recommendations. And as always, if you've got any recommendations yourself or you want to chat about any of these products, please leave your comments down below. And without further ado, let's dive into the video. So as always, I will try and stick to categories just to make it a little bit easier. And I will try and link all these products in the description box down below as well if you do want to check any of them out. When there's a lot of products, it does take me a while to actually get all the links. So if it's not there when this video goes live, just keep checking back and the links will be there. So first up then, we're actually going to start with face masks. Now last month I didn't really do many face masks, but this month I've done a few more. Had a bit more of a pamper, um, but the past couple of weeks I've not really had a chance. But anyway, I've used five face masks and one set of eye masks. So the face masks I've used are the Pixie Volume, um, Hyaluronic Acid Peptides and Botanical Collagen, Volumizing Fusion Sheet Mask. Um, so this is the first one. I got a pack of three of these in PR. I've used them before. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, a lot of serum in them. They fit so nicely onto my face. And they're just a really nice face mask. It's got botanical collagen and peptides to help moisturise and rejuvenate for healthier looking skin. Yeah, I really like these. I just felt like my skin felt fab afterwards. Um, so yeah, I would definitely get those again. Um, next up, I used this one from Patchology. It's the Flash Mask. Uh, five minute sheet mask. So this is another one from a brand that I absolutely love. The Patchology masks are always fab. Um, yeah, just really, really nice masks. I'm nothing bad to say about them. Not as much serum in this one as the other masks that I'm showing you, um, but still a really, really nice mask. So this one had hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5 in. Super hydrating. And yeah, loved it. Um, it says you only keep it on for five minutes. I think I kept it on for like 15. Um, I always just generally keep it on for like 15 to 20 minutes, unless it says like half an hour. Um, but yeah, that was a nice one. Next we have a classic Garnier Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. It's super hydrating and re-plumping. That's this one. These are always fab. There's always a lot of serum in here as well. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a lot of extra serum in here. It's a bit wasteful because I don't need that much serum. Um, but what you can do is just kind of fold over the top of the packaging, put a little clip on it or something, um, and then just use the serum as part of your skincare routine. I've definitely done that in the past, but at the moment when I've got so many products to use, um, I don't tend to do that. And I, yeah, I really like those ones. Um, next we've got one from AHC. It's a Natural Essential Mask. I think I used one of these a long time ago. Look at the packaging, it's so cool. Like a little bottle. Um, and yeah, I've not used it in a long time, but I got this in a calendar, I think. And yeah, again, nothing bad to say about this. It had a bit of a scent to this one. That's hard to describe. Um, and it did feel a little bit like thicker on my face. Um, as opposed to those ones. But again, nice and hydrating. Nothing bad to say about it. I just really like them. It's not often I come across a face mask that I don't enjoy. I do have my favourites. My favourites tend to be Beauty Pro ones, Foreo, uh, the Garnier ones. Oh, and the Rodeo ones. They're really good. They're so thin as well with those ones. Um, next up, we've got the Foreo Green Tea. This is a really nice one. So with the Foreo, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I talk about this a lot. Um, the Foreo UFO 2. Um, I use those masks generally, those are my favourite from Foreo, but then they brought these ones out which are basically like a full sheet mask, so you can use this as a sheet mask on its own, which is what I did, um, or you can use it with the UFO2 device as well. So you just pop it on then set your UFO2 and then you can just use it with it. Um, I've not tried it with the device yet, I've always just popped one of these on and then just got on with what I was doing. Um, but these are really nice, I love how they feel, they're um, the tensile sheet masks. So they've got like, I don't really know how to describe it but it's kind of like a different sheet mask, but it's really nice. Um, and yeah, that's the green tea where it's purifying. So I hope my skin looks pure. Um, and then the eye masks I used were the MZ Skin Hydra Bright Gold Eye Mask. That was a nice set of gold eye masks, like on the picture there. These are from a calendar. I really like this brand. I, the, this is another brand that kind of popped up out of nowhere. I think I found it once in a cohorted box and it was very pricey. And you know when you've not heard of a brand before and it's just very pricey and you're just like, hmm, where are you from? Um, but... I really like the product, so yeah, I welcome these masks. I think I've got a couple more of these. I've got an, uh, a couple of the full sheet masks, and then I think I've got another eye mask. Yeah, I really like them. They're kind of like the jelly kind of ones. 
and they felt nice. So yeah, so out of those then. My favourites this month were the Foreo and I'm going to say the Pixie. I do really like that one. Yeah. Nice masks. So those were the eight face masks. So now I'm going to go on to skincare. Okay, I think I've just separated all the skincare out, but I'll probably miss something as always. Um, so I'm going to do this in kind of a routine as usual. Um, so we're going to start off with cleansers. So the cleansers that I finished. So these were actually the cleansers, which I think I mentioned both of these in my Shop My Stash. And I finished them both. So first up is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, which looks like this. As you can see, it's a white one. When I've got nails on, it's hard to get every last bit out. Um, so there's always a tiny little bit left in. Uh, this is nice. It's not my favourite cleansing balm. It's a little bit of a thicker balm. Um, I do prefer like the Ellen's Cleansing Balm, obviously. And also the Then I Met You. It's kind of a little bit thicker than the Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm. Uh, which is a little bit thicker than Elemis. So yeah, this is like the thickest one. It's still a really fab cleansing balm. It removes all your makeup. I've used it on like a full eye makeup because usually what I tend to do is use my micellar water to remove my eye makeup on my eyebrows and my lips sometimes if I've got like lip liner on as well. Um, and then I go in with the cleanse and double cleanse. Um, but sometimes I'm just a bit lazy and I don't want to take my eye makeup off first so I just go straight into the bathroom. And I just put this all over my face and it does a really, really good job. Um, you can get right in onto your lashes as well, um, right underneath your lashes and yeah, it did a great job at removing my makeup. So yeah, nice. I would definitely use this one again. Um, but as always, if I'm gonna buy a cleansing balm, I'll just always just go for my elements because it's just my favorite. Okay, and the next cleanser which I have finished, so I went onto this one after that, is the SVR Lipid Restoring Cleansing Oil Anti-Itching. So that's this one. So I think I've mentioned this in another video as well because I've definitely used this one before. I think this brand is not talked about enough. I really like this brand. We've had a few products from this brand in boxes and calendars. Um, we've had a few of the eye cream um, and I've obviously picked this one up. I think I got this one in the Sephora or Feel Unique box. I think, I can't really remember. But I've used this one before and I picked it again because it's really, really nice. So it's like an oil, it's an oil cleanser. So it's, this is like a first cleanse to melt your makeup off. Um, it's not a really thin oil. Like it's a little bit thicker than say the pie cleansing oil. I feel like it's a little bit thicker than that one. Um, and this is just fab. I feel like it's just super gentle and it's removed your makeup really well. And I really like it. So yeah, even though it's like the lipid restoring anti-itching, it doesn't matter if you've not got dry skin or itchy skin. It's just a fab cleanser. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. I think this is my favorite oil cleanser, you know? So yeah. Okay, next then in the skincare routine, we have a toner. Yep, this is it. Um, so this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. That's what it looks like. This is another product I've used before. And this is really nice as well. It smells amazing. Um, it's quite, it is a lightweight product, but it's thicker than, for example, like the Elemis Toner. Um, there's a bit more to it. You can probably just see the last drops in it there. Um, I always apply this to a little pad and then just swipe it all over my face. Um, and it obviously works to gently exfoliate the skin as well with the PHA and BHA actives. Um, and yeah, I really like this one. Super gentle and it's just a really nice toner. Love it. Uh, the bottle as well is glass, which is nice. Um, feels so nice and it just looks so cute as well. Um, but yeah, I've had that one before and I do really enjoy that one. So I'm glad I've had the chance to try it again. Okay, next we've got serums. I've got two serums. Yep. Okay, the first one is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which I've been using, and it's the Neod Multimolecular Hyaluronic Complex 15ml. That is this one. Now, I went onto this one immediately after finishing the full size of it because I was using the full size and I got this one in the calendar. So, if I've definitely got another, like, another one of the same serum, I like to go onto the same one afterwards just to have a bit of consistency in my routine. Um, but if not, I'll just go onto a different brand and try something new. But yeah, carrying on with this one. This was really nice. I really like this one. It's the same, like, family, like, brand as The Ordinary. And it's multi-molecular as well, so that means it's penetrating different layers of your skin. So it's hydrating the skin at different levels, not just on one layer. And yeah, it's just a fabulous serum. I really like it. Um, I don't have any more of those now, unfortunately. But I would love another one. And then the second serum is the Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. This is a nice little serum. I do like this one. I'm not really sure if I see any difference from it. I can't remember the exact claims on the box, but it always has like so many percent of women saw these results and these results. And I don't really feel like I've seen results like that. 
Um, but then again, I only ever get these tiny little bottles of it in a calendar, so they don't last ages. Um, but I do feel like it's a nice serum, makes my skin feel nice. And it says it's crystal infused replexium serum for younger looking miracle skin. Well, I mean, you tell me, does my skin look younger? I don't know. But yeah, I like it anyway. Um, it is scented, so if you're not a fan of scented skincare, probably not for you because it's quite scented. Yeah, it's quite a strong scent. I don't mind it though. Okay, then on to moisturisers. Now, there's actually a lot of moisturisers here. Uh, my skin has not been enjoying this weather recently. It's freezing cold weather and then obviously I've had the heating on a lot in the house. So I think it's just really just dry out my skin. So my skin's not been very happy. So I've had a lot of moisturisers. <laughs> I've been trying different ones and seeing which one's just been kind of gentle on my skin. Um, I always use different moisturisers in the morning to at night. Um, so I have nighttime moisturisers, daytime moisturisers. So first of all then, my nighttime moisturisers that I was using were the Augustine Spada The Cream. That is this one. So I've had a lot of the rich cream and then this was the first the cream I've tried, I think it is. And yeah, there wasn't that much difference to the rich cream, I don't think. Um, it was just a little bit lighter, but I feel like it was just as good, just as nourishing on my skin. Just didn't feel as thick when I was applying it. That was it. Um, obviously I've taken the top off, I've pulled out the bag and then I cut it open. As you can see, and I got another day or two of moisturiser out of that. I don't know why they use those bags, it's just, it's just a lot of excess packaging, isn't it? Um, considering the whole thing's only 15ml as well, it does not last long at all. Um, and then there's just a lot of packaging to get rid of. Not great, but yeah. I do really like this cream, I would love to buy this, it's just so expensive. Um, so I love finding it in boxes and calendars and stocking up on it because it's just fab. Um, it uses this TFC8, um, which I can't remember exactly what it is, but if you have a look on the website, it sounds amazing. I remember reading it last time, like, oh, I need this on my face now. So yeah, really like that one. Just very pricey. Um, next is a nighttime moisturiser. I was using the Ultra Repair Cream from a First Aid Beauty. This is a fab cream. Fab, pun intended. Yeah, I've used this cream so many times before. This is always a really, really good one if you've got any dry skin on your body. This just really helps to fix it. Um, so yeah, I was using this as a night cream. So it's just a little bit thicker, a little bit more nourishing. And I really like this one. So yeah, I think I've got another one of these. But if not, I will need a top up just to have one in just in case. My daytime moisturisers that I was using, the first one was the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This one became empty at the start of the month. Um, really, really nice cream. As you know, I'm obsessed with Elemis. I love all their products. There's literally not one that I've used that I don't like. Um, and this is a fab cream. One of my faves. It's one that I'll always have in as well. And it's looking after my fine lines and wrinkles. So that gets a big thumbs up. But yeah, I'm obsessed with that. So it's, it's gorgeous. It's always one of my faves. Um, next, I actually finished off the Bare Minerals Bare Haven Soft Moisturiser. Only a little on this. So this is the one that I actually opened when I did my Get Ready With Me using the Bare Minerals Advent Calendar products. Um, and I tried it then and it was nice. But then, since I've been using it, I just felt like it's so much nicer than I remembered it was. And I really, really like this. So I think I'm actually going to get one of these if I need another moisturiser in the future. Not that I do for a long time if you watch any of my Declutter videos. But yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous moisturiser. So I think this is up there with one of my faves. Maybe this will make it into the favourites box of this year. Um, but yeah, it was just so nice. Really, really hydrating. Not too thick, not too thin. And it just felt really nice. I love that. Um, okay, next we have from Polar the Ice Source Moisturising Cream. Oh yeah. This is quite scented as well. This is another brand that is really nice that you don't really see a lot of. This is what it looks like. I've tried a few things from this brand now, and all gorgeous. Um, I think I was using this as a night cream, I can't remember. This must have been like the start of the month as well. But yeah, this was another nice cream. Nice and nourishing. Yeah, it is just quite scented, that's the only kind of downside to it. If you don't like the scent, you're not going to like the product. But overall, as a moisturiser, it was really nice. Next we have a little miniature of my Charlotte Tilbury in Magic Cream. This little one here. Um, I was using this as a day cream, especially under makeup, I was using this, then I was following up with the Charlotte Tilbury Primer, um, and it was a nice base for makeup, popping things all over the place. Um, yeah, really, really nice moisturiser. It's quite thick and nourishing, so if you're not really into your thick moisturisers, but if you do like your thicker moisturisers, um, very nourishing. I really like this in the winter, and then in the summer they do the light version of the cream, which is also really nice. Um, but yeah, I do really like this one. I've got another one in the drawer as well, that size. 15 mils, so it doesn't last too long. But yeah, I like it. Again, it's quite scented. It's like the Charlotte Tilbury standard signature scent. Um, so if you're not a fan of that, again, it's tricky, isn't it? If you like the product, but you don't like the scent. But anyway, luckily, I don't mind it. 
Um, and then the last two, these were two that I opened to try and fix my dry skin. Um, so when my skin was dry, I was applying moisturiser like several times a day when I was in the house. I wasn't just applying it morning and night, which has contributed to the excessive amount of moisturisers that have become empty this month. So the first one was the Aroma Active Soothing Universal Repair Cream. This was actually in an advent calendar. And I thought I'd try this out because it's a soothing repair cream. I thought it can soothe and repair my skin. It was quite nice. It did irritate my skin a little bit. So I'm, I don't know if that's because of the fragrance in it but especially like around this area that was a little bit dry um, and on my cheeks was dry I'd apply this and then it just get a little bit like irritated but in other areas when it, where it wasn't as dry it was quite nice so yeah I think I have another one of these open at the moment because I got two of these in calendars and like it says it's formulated to calm and rebuild dry or irritated skin I think there are better products out there for that but as an overall moisturizer it was nice but not for the purpose of the irritated skin. But that might just be my skin. If you've used that product and you've had different results, then let me know in the comments below. Um, and then the final moisturiser, I think, is the Dr. Jar Seeker Pear Tiger Grass Repair Cream. Again, I've gone for a repair cream. This is just a tiny little miniature sample that I had in the carousel. Thought I'd just try it because it's repair. I was trying to repair my skin. This was quite nice. It was a little bit different. It was quite thick, but yeah, I feel like it was quite nice. It felt a bit like I was kind of like almost slugging. Um, but yeah, I was doing this at night as well. And I think this was quite good. I've now moved on to the other um, Dr. Jart on this one. Um, I'm using the Seeker Pear Tiger Grass Calming Gel Cream. That's this one. So this isn't empty yet. This will be empty in the next one. But this one is quite nice too. It's a lot more lightweight than this one though. Um, so I'm using that as a day cream right now. But yeah, that's the last moisturiser. So yeah, quite a lot of skincare there. Some good, some not so good. Oh, there's also this one. I'm not, this one isn't empty. I'm actually decluttering this one. This is the Galane um, Hydrating Face Cream. I've had this for quite a while and I thought I'd try it out. And I was expecting really good things from this. It was from the Cult Beauty gift or something. And I tried it out, but when I put like a primer or sunscreen or anything on top of it, it just pilled and it just didn't really work for me. So this is definitely not empty, but I'm just going to declutter this because it just it just wasn't working. I tried it with different SPFs on top, I tried it with just a primer on top, and then I tried it with makeup and it just was not working on my skin. It was a case of like I'd have to take everything off and start again. So yeah, it just didn't work for me, so I don't know why, but yeah, I just didn't really like that one. Okay, moving on to hair care. Okay, we've got four products in hair care this month. So we've got a shampoo and conditioner duo. This is the Sasha Joanne. Scalp conditioner and scalp shampoo. This little duo was in the Cult Beauty advent calendar and I was trying this out. I tried them out together. I would like to try them together if I've got both because um, obviously meant to use them together. And these were really nice. I love the Sasha Joanne shampoos and conditioners. The ones that we've tried before. I think I've actually only tried shampoos. We usually get little miniatures in the tubes, don't we? Um, but yeah, it was nice to try them as a duo and really, really nice. I love these. These were fab. It was quite a good size as well for sampling them. 100ml was not bad at all. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous shampoos and conditioner. It says it's a scalp shampoo and scalp conditioner. I use them as regular shampoo and conditioners and it was fine. My hair felt really clean. It looked really nice, really fresh. And yeah, 10 out of 10, love them. Um, and then next I finished my Fanola No Yellow Shampoo. This is a big bottle. This is taking me ages to get through because I was originally using this. I only use it when I put blonde in my hair. And there was a period before, I don't know, was it before summer? When I wasn't as blonde. So I stopped using it because I find if I use it on my natural colour, which looks a lot darker right now, um, I get kind of a bit of a bluish tinge. So I just kind of save it for when I've got my bleach in. Um, so since I had my bleach done again, then I started using it again. And it's fab. This is one of my go-tos. I always use this one or the fudge one. And I just feel like... It really just keeps your blonde looking nice and icy, like nice and like non-yellow, no yellow shampoo. And yeah, this one is really nice. What I tend to do sometimes is I'll do this as a first shampoo. I'll make it really lathery and then kind of like flip my hair like this, you know, when it's all full of shampoo and you stick it on your head and leave it there for a few minutes just to kind of let it really soak in. Not that it soaks in, you know what I mean. Really just kind of like bathe in it. Um, before washing it out and then yeah I just use that as a first cleanse and then I do a second cleanse with a regular shampoo. I've never tried the conditioner so yeah that's not something I've ever done. I've had the fudge shampoo and conditioner which are really nice together but never tried a conditioner with this but this is 
Um, a blue shampoo will always rebuy, so I need to reorder one of those actually because now I don't have any. Um, and then the final hair product is the Aveda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair Instant Visible Repair Protects from Heat Styling. This is quite a big one actually. Um, really nice product from Aveda. It's one of those brands where, say like a year ago, I'd never have thought to pick anything up from that brand, but now I've tried several products and they've all been really nice. I've had shampoos and conditioners. Leaving conditioners. This is like a leaving conditioner hair repair. And they've all been really nice. I really like this one as well because it's not too thick as well. Um, I always apply this to damp hair after I've washed my hair um, and conditioned. I pop it in one of those, either like a hair towel or one of those towels that's um, it's from a brand called Aquis. Aquis, I think it is. Um, which is really good for protecting your hair. Um, and then when I take that off, I pop something like this on and then I always go in with like a heat protection spray as well. Um, and this one, yeah, really nice. It's not too heavy on the hair. Like, you, you'd have no idea that I had it in once it's dry. Like, you, there's no residue. It's really nice. So, yeah, love that one. Okay, next let's do makeup. So, I've got a few makeup products this month. There's always fewer makeup products because it takes me longer to get through them. Okay, so, first up then, we have a primer from Ilmasca. So, this is the Hydra Veil Primer. I've used this one many many times before this is one of my all-time favorites i absolutely love this it's so hydrating it's like a jelly you rub it in and then pop it all over your face and it's just so hydrating it creates like the perfect perfect base for makeup a little bit tacky a little bit sticky um but obviously when your makeup's on it is perfect i absolutely love this um yeah i will be getting this one again once once i need another primer not that i will do for a while and um, it comes with a little spatula as well to scoop it out and it's just fab. I think I finished one of these last month as well. And then I immediately went onto this one again because I had one in. Um, yeah, this is amazing. If you've not tried this and you like a nice hydrating base, then definitely, definitely check that one out. Now, next up, this isn't really technically a makeup product, but it's a product that I was using as part of my makeup routine. And it's the Imoravitsa Queen of Hungry Mist. Now, I was using this to actually dampen my beauty blender. So I used to just dampen my beauty blender under the tap. Um, but I have a lot of these and I thought I don't really use them so I'm going to put them to use So I was using them to dampen my beauty blender before applying my makeup and they work really well You do have to squirt it quite a lot um, and this one dribbled quite a lot as well So I don't know if the applicator was just a bit broken if it was just like not the best spray But yeah overall it was a nice mist um, I have used it as a mist before it's quite rosy I'm not the biggest fan of like rosy scents on my face um, I will use them if I know it's doing good um, but yeah, the scent is just not really, yeah, it's not really my favourite scent, but it did the job. And obviously they're not going to waste either, I guess. Still got to use them, still get the benefits of that mist um, on my skin. Next we have a concealer. So this is the Peach Low Lighter from Rodeo. Now this came in a kit from Rodeo. I think it was like the Tara Maynard edit or something. I wasn't like very excited to use it it was just like oh yeah i'll get around to using that i think it's maybe it's because it's called the peach low lighter rather than concealer i don't really think much of it but this is really nice um it was such a nice concealer oh there's a tiny amount left on it um really really nice big brush as well nice big fluffy brush um and it was just so easy to apply it was just a really nice kind of highlight concealer so i did do it in the regular concealer places so under my eyes here as well to lighten this jawbone my chin um, and my nose as well and it was really nice so i'd love another one of those i think i will pick another one of those up and um, because as well i'm actually going to declutter two more concealers which i didn't do in my declutter video we didn't really look at concealers did we but when that one ran out i went to get another concealer from my drawer and there were only two there and these are just ones that I bought online and it's really hard to buy a concealer online for me because you just never get the shade right. But I wanted to try some new ones so I bought these two. So the first one is from NYX, it's the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. And with this one I think I just got the shade wrong. Um, it's also not the easiest to get out, like I feel like when you pull it out it takes a lot of the product off it. But this one for me it was just a little bit too dark. So it was actually darker than my foundation when it was on my face so I didn't really like that. Um, so it's not empty but I'm actually going to get rid of that one. And then this one from e.l.f. I went for, it's the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. Um, and this is the shade Fair Beige, which I feel like is, sounds like a shade for me. But it is so pale. I really like the applicator. Again, it's another thick, fluffy one. Let's look at this one. Look how light that is. Um, it's also quite thick as well, so when I was blending it out, 
didn't blend too well and I ended up with like really really like light patches on my face so yeah that's just not really for me um, I did actually pick up another concealer yesterday whilst I was out and I've used this one before, it's the Maybelline Eraser Multi-Use Concealer and if you did watch the empties video where I finished one of these it had all worn off the front so I had no idea what shade it was so I just kind of guessed, so I was in the store thankfully so I was just able to look at the testers and just have a look at them so I went for shade number one so this is for future me if I need another one, it's shade number one um, and it's just such a better shade for me so it's the top one there as you can see it's just such a better match the NYX one is far too dark, the e.l.f. one is too light but this one is fab and this is what I'm wearing today so yeah I'm glad I picked that one up again, it's really nice I like the apple case as well but yes yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna declutter those two because they're just not for me should we check this rodeo one on the top here so with the tiny amount that was left on that rodeo one I just put it on the top there so you can see the different colours so it is more of a pinky undertone and I'm definitely more cool toned but it was still a really nice concealer um, but yeah definitely that Maybelline one is a better match for me um, next we have an eyeliner it's the Ico Black Magic Plus Wide Lash Liner this is amazing I love this so Ico ones I only like the Black Magic liners because they're just oh, they're just so nice um, it's kind of like a brush at the end I think I've shown you this before but it's more like a brush than a thick felt tip the thick felt tips just don't work for me um, this is really nice, it's easy to just, it's just very flexible and it's easy to get the precise flick at the end, so it's fab. Um, I don't think I have another one of these now because I did my declutter the other day, but I've got some similar ones which I'm going to use. Um, but I'll definitely look to top up on one of those as well because it's really nice. Then we've got the Florence by Mills Eyebrow Gel, Tint and Tame Brow Gel. So that's what this one looks like. Now this one, I don't really like this. The wand is very, very small, which, you know, it's brows, you don't need it to be a thick wand. Um, but I just thought it was really hard to actually get product on it. And I feel like a lot of product just kind of gathered on the tip, but not really much in the bristles. So you ended up like poking it to try and get some product on it. So yeah, it just felt like it wasn't wasn't the best. I think it was maybe just too, too subtle. I think I need a bit more product on it to make it feel like it's sticking. So I won't be getting that one again. Um, and then next we've got the MAC Fix Plus Skin Refresher Finishing Mist. Uh, this is fab, I really like this. I've tried quite a few different versions of these kind of products recently and I think this is my favourite actually after trying quite a few. I've tried the MAC one, I'm using the big MAC one at the moment. Um, I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury one, I've been using a NYX one, I decluttered that one because that wasn't great. I feel like I've used another one. But I feel like this is the best. Um, this was a little miniature that I got in the calendar I think. Um, and yeah, really like that one and I'm using the full one at the moment. And then next, I'm actually decluttering this, it's not empty, um, but it's the Kylie Jenner Illuminating Setting Spray. Just because I've had this quite a while now and it's open and it's just, I don't know, it's just not my favourite. I used one a long time ago and it seemed really nice but I don't know, this one just seems a little bit different. Um, could be that it's just a bit old now as well so yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that one. I have plenty anyway. Um, so yeah, that one's going to go. Okay, so now on to body care. First up, we've got a deodorant. This is the Malin and Goats. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Uh, this is the Eucalyptus deodorant. Now, I've had a couple of these now. This is my favourite deodorant ever. It is so nice. Um, it's a natural deodorant, so you just twist it and then rub it under your arm. And it, it smells amazing. It's just very fresh. You can smell eucalyptus. It is a really nice scent. Um, but it's nothing like so scented that, that you can smell it like on you, like once it's on it's on. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I will be getting another one of these. I've moved on to that Kapari one. I've had a couple of these and I've never actually tried them so I've moved on to that now. Um, but I'll definitely be getting another one of these. Um, then we've got a couple of shower gels. The first one is the Body Shop Warm Vanilla Shower Gel. Now this one was the Body Shop's Christmas collection, I want to say two years ago, maybe three. And I got a set and I used it was a hand cream, a body yogurt and a body scrub and I didn't open any of them straight away. I used the other three products last year I think and this was the only one that I hadn't used but the smell is unreal. I wish they'd bring this scent back. Um, if you smell this and you like these products let me know in the comments down below because it's just the best. It's so nice but it's the nicest scent they've ever done. Yeah I just wish they'd bring it back. It's one of those where you know they always do a new scent 
for the holidays, for Christmas. And yeah, I just really wish they'd bring this one back. It's the best. It's just, I've not found one as nice as this since this one. Um, and the other body wash is actually a body scrub. It's the Rituals Ritual of Jing Mild Body Scrub. I do like this one. Um, I don't feel like it's very scrubby. The actual scrub particles are very fine. Um, so it's a very like subtle scrub. Um, I find it doesn't really work well on like a shower poof. When you put it on there, it just kind of disappears. So I like to just apply this with my hands and just rub it in my body. It feels feels nice. It does feel like you're exfoliating. It's not really harsh though. It's quite gentle. Um, and obviously the scent is really nice as well. I do like that scent. I'm using the room spray of that as well at the moment, which is nice. And the last body wash is the Bath and Shower Gel from Molten Brown in a Delicious Rhubarb and Rose. This was being used as a bubble bath. I've had this open for a couple of months now and it's a few uses. I finished this up in the hotel for my birthday um, and yeah, I got a couple of baths out of it there, but it's, it's a really nice one. I love Molten Brown Bath and Shower Gel, so perfect for the bath. It makes so many bubbles, which is what I like in a bubble bath. Lots of bubbles. Um, and the scents are nice as well. So yeah, love those. Okay, body creams then. We've got the White Company Calm Hand and Body Balm. So I was using this as a body moisturiser. And this one I think is my favourite. Yeah, this is my favourite scent I think. But this one is so nice, it smells amazing. It's Juniper Berry, Clary Sage and Ylang Ylang. And the hand and body balms and the body lotions from the White Company just are so nice on the body. Um, they soak in really nicely, they're not sticky, they're not uncomfortable, they're just so nice and they smell amazing. And then usually I put my pyjamas on straight away once I've had a bath and put this on or had a shower and put this on. And then your pyjamas smell like it as well. It's just really nice, I like them. So yeah, I love that. Okay, now I've got miscellaneous stuff. So the first thing is my toothpaste. Regenerate toothpaste, I've talked about this so many times before, so if you uh, heard this before, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, this is my favourite toothpaste. It works to regenerate the enamel mineral and reverse the early erosion process. I just feel like I'm looking after my teeth a little bit more than using a regular toothpaste. Um, it's also sparkly, which gets a thumbs up from me. Um, and yeah, I always get this in the sales on oh, Look Fantastic when there's a discount on, because um, it's quite pricey. Um, they've got one in, this one's glossy box though. So if you get it in the glossy box, and you're thinking, why have I got toothpaste? It's a great toothpaste, so definitely try it out. I didn't get one in mine, I've got the teeth whitening pen, which is fine, but this would have been handy. So yeah, I love that. Um, okay, next we've got a nail varnish. This is the Mark, um, which is Avon. Gel Shine Lasting Finish Top Coat. Um, it looks like it's got cement, but it's, you know when there's not much left and it's really thick and really hard to apply? That's the stage this is at. It's just very, very thick now. So when you pull the brush out, it just comes with a line of thick nail varnish. It's not easy to apply. So yeah, I've moved on to another one now. But this was a really nice one. So this is from Avon. Um, it's the Mark, Mark range? I don't know. But yeah, really nice. Shiny top coat. Not the fastest to dry, but did the job. And it kept my nail varnish on these nails for quite some time. Um, next, another nail product we've got is the Elegant Touch French Warm On Two Nails. Now, the, I had these on. These were actually on before Christmas, and then I forgot to put them in my empties video. So they're now in this month's empties, even though I wore them before Christmas. So I had these on before I put those gingerbread nails on. Again, I've talked about this before, but I feel like Elegant Touch now, if you get the pattern nails or any kind of coloured nails, they're a lot thinner. I don't know what they've done, but they're very thin. And they only tend to last me in like three days now before splitting down the middle. And if you watch on Instagram my video my reel where I was putting on my gingerbread nails at the start I'm wearing these and you can see on my thumb how it's split down the middle and it's just very annoying so yeah I used to actually keep these and get two sets out of them and just file them down if they were too big but now I'm just like three days that's it so yeah I won't be buying these again I now use the bare ones which are amazing they're so much thicker and I don't know why because it's the same brand weird but yeah I always use those now and just paint them myself and they're amazing these last me like three weeks like, they don't break, they don't snap, they don't, they're just fab, so, yeah, but I don't like these ones anymore. And then the final product, which is very miscellaneous, is the Rituals Home Perfume in Ritual Sakura. I had a few of these, and I absolutely love this scent in, like, all the body products, and this is the first, like, home scent. Um, I've got a candle as well, I've not listed it yet, though, but this was really nice. I was just using this as an upstairs spray, and yeah, just smells just like the Ritual Sakura scent, and it's fab. So yeah, I finished that one and I have another one of those. 
So guys, those are my empties for January. So I feel like there's quite a lot of products there. Obviously a lot of skincare, a lot of moisturisers because I've been like trying to drown my face in moisturisers. Um, quite a lot of makeup products as well. But yeah, good mix of things I like, things I didn't like. And I feel like I've got rid of a nice big chunk of products as well, which is good. Um, so yeah, that is it for today's video. Like I said earlier, I will link all these down below if I can find links for them. And let me know all of your thoughts on the products. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and you have different opinions. Let me know in the comments down below and let's have a chat about these products. So yes, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, I'd really, really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up and also hit subscribe. I do these every single month, so definitely come back for next month and I'll see you soon for another video.